All right. So here's my old 27 inch display. Asus 2K 1440p. Kill my little monitor. Here is the uh, the new Alienware to go with the R13 and the Klipsch, the five speakers that you're hearing. But if I go into the menu here, see a little bit more. So we've got Smart HDR on G-Sync. I've just got it in standard mode right now, but uh, you can go down here into some of the different presets. So some of the game enhanced modes, you can have a timer running in the background, show the frame rate, which is kind of cool. Here's some more of the settings here. Different presets. You got first person shooter, RPG, sports, game one, game two, game three, warm, cool, custom. where we can adjust the brightness and the contrast. You got your different input selections. You can adjust all the lighting from here. Audio, some of the different menu options. Some shortcut keys. So I can flip between, you know, game enhance mode or creator mode or any of the other modes. Here they got an eco mode as well. I didn't really like that because uh, after last night when I stepped away from the system, turned it off, and when I came back, turned it on this morning, the display wouldn't turn back on. So um, eco mode was keeping it from coming back on. But, um, and then I have HDR turned on right now. With that on, I find that I can't go into um, into creator mode. So if I go over here, here's the game enhance mode. You can see we got HDR 400 turned on. Display alignments, so we can readjust that, which is kind of nice. Here's HDR mode. So on HDR mode, we've got True Black or Peak 1000 for HDR modes. Dark Stabilizer. So if you watch here, if I adjust it from zero, one, two, three, adjust the black. So I keep it at zero. So anyway, I didn't like FPS. So here's what it, I have it on standard right now. If I put it on FPS for game mode or preset, it kind of really brightens everything up. I didn't really like the colors on that. As you can see, it changed the dark stabilizer to three by doing that. RTS, RPG. Sports mode, game one, game two,
game three. Warm. Cool. Or custom, so. Just keep it on, like, standard for now, but yeah. Colors, everything looks really good, so. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps answer some of your questions. Let's see what HDR 1000 looks like. HDR on, still G-Sync on. Let's see if I can load up some uh, Netflix here. It's HDR of some sort. So here we go, HDR, so it recognizes it. doesn't want to play. Netflix. Well, let me get something loading here. I'll bring it back on in a sec for you. All right, got something going. Yeah, it looks really, really, really good. So, too bad it didn't do Adobe Vision, but HDR work. Anyway, that's uh, that's all I got. So, if you have any other questions, let me know. But overall, there's kind of a difference here between the two, the 27-inch Asus versus this guy here and some of the lighting in the back if you wanted to see kind of flips between it got lighting on the back and lighting underneath here too 